On October 11, 2005, UNC Asheville broke ground for the Steve and Frozine Zeiss Science and Multimedia Building, an 88,500 square foot structure that today is home to the Departments of Chemistry, Biology, and Multimedia Arts and Sciences. So if we're not at the beginning and not at the end, where are we? We are at a critical juncture in our collective dream to provide state-of-the-art science and multimedia experiences for our campus. This is the point where our planning is about to develop an actual physical presence in our midst, right here on our campus. The Steve and Frozine Zeiss Science and Multimedia Building was the largest of the campus projects funded through the statewide 2000 Higher Education Bond Referendum. The bond referendum provided $22.2 million for the $24 million project. Zeiss Hall was designed by O'Brien and Atkins Associates of Raleigh. The contractors involved in the building's construction were Rentenbach Construction of Knoxville, W.E. Bolton Construction and Services, and M.B. Haynes Electric Construction of Asheville. The four-story building is sited on a previously existing parking lot adjacent to Rhodes Robinson Hall and Ramsey Library. The new building has 44 teaching and research labs, two multimedia lab classrooms, a computer lab, seminar rooms, and 36 offices. These labs and classrooms are specifically designed to allow students to study and conduct research in the cutting edge style of small group projects instead of the traditional lecture format. I'm excited about the possibilities of a new building. I know with more advanced equipment and better facilities, the prospects are endless. Science has the ability to change our lives, to find comfort in medicine, and to give us insight into our environment. In such a nurturing setting such as UNCA, I can only expect great things. I truly hope that future students will appreciate the, the opportunity to learn and grow in this new facility, and one day become successful scientists in an ever-changing world. Thank you. Environmentally friendly design aspects of the building include advanced stormwater management, low emitting interior materials, water efficient landscaping, and significant use of natural light throughout the structure. In 2005, the UNC Asheville Board of Trustees voted to name the new building in honor of Steve and Frozine Zeiss, longtime friends of the university. Steve attended Asheville Biltmore College, a predecessor institution, and later he and his wife established an international textile business in Asheville. In April 2005, the Zeiss family presented a $3 million gift to the university the largest private gift in UNC Asheville's history. In recognition of the high regard and gratitude that the university has for the Zeisses, the Board of Trustees of the University of North Carolina Asheville has voted to name the new Science and Multimedia Building, which will be completed in 2007 in their honor. We are so very, very thankful.
Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. It's great to, great to have you here. It's great to see such a large crowd today to celebrate this very, very special event. I'm Joe Damore, and I'm pleased to represent the UNCA Board of Trustees, which I am proud to be the vice chair. Uh, in my day job, I serve as the CEO of Mission Hospital, another organization which has benefited from the generosity of Rosine and Steve Zeiss. So thank you for all you've done for our community. They are wonderful, wonderful people. Steve and Frosine are so dedicated to helping people in our community, so we greatly appreciate They're such special people and, and are especially pleased to welcome uh, the alumni from the Departments of Chemistry, Biology, Multimedia Arts and Sciences, as well of, as those who've supported the departments with their giving over the years. Uh, we're also honored to have many special guests here today, uh, including uh, one of our most serious Bulldog fans, Mayor Terry Bellamy. Terry, I know you're here. There you go. And two of our outstanding county commissioners uh, in the back. I see Carol Peterson and Ray Bailey. Thank you, too, for being here. Uh, and then, of course, Senator Martin Nesbitt. I know Senator Nesbitt is here at the, on the other side. Thank you, Senator. <laughs> Who's worked very tireless, tirelessly in this recent session of the General Assembly to ensure the fiscal health of our UNC campuses throughout the state. So thank you, Senator Nesbitt, very much. We appreciate it. <laughs> Finally, I'd also like to recognize all of our current and former trustees of UNCA. Can all of you please stand and let us recognize all of you? I see Luther here, but please stand. And And then finally, please join me in appreciating the students who welcomed us this afternoon with the wonderful music. Uh, uh, Erica Shinazi, a sophomore. Eleanor Detraville, De a sophomore. Nathan Lytul. Claire Dickinson, a graduate. And Inez Riz Riz Redman, their coach. Please join me in thanking them. Beautiful job. I'd also like to welcome the chair of our board. Uh, he was not supposed to be here today, or otherwise he would be doing this, but he was able to uh, leave a meeting early and get here. And I know I see Jim Buckner back here. Jim, thank you for being here. <laughs> this is a really special day for all of us. Uh, you know, uh, I was telling some folks earlier that I happen to be a chemist, a biologist and chemist, so this is very special for me. Uh, a science major uh, to be here, but I, I, I wasn't a very good scientist, so they made me a, an administrator. So <laughs> but it's great to be here back in the science building. So uh, again, uh, this will be a wonderful event. Now I'd like to call on our leader, our chancellor, uh, Asheville native, and our outstanding chancellor, Ann Ponder. Ann? This is so exciting. Thank you all for coming to UNC Asheville today. There are a few of you who are not frequent visitors to UNC Asheville. And so for those of you who don't visit us all that frequently, make sure that this is the first of many, many times when you'll come to think of Asheville's university as yours as well. I know that you are here not only for our university, but for Steve and Frozine, who are just, just remarkable. I also want you to know that there are uh, two of the three people who uh, have endowments named in their honor, and that was announced earlier today. And this is not the first time they've been on this campus. <laughs> Indeed, if you put their years of service together, it would be older than anyone in the room. <laughs> uh, may I ask you to stand up, please? Uh, the assistant to the chancellor, Carolyn Frady, and uh, the administrative assistant in academic affairs, Jackie Peterson.
there will be students from now on who will have scholarships in their honor. I'd like to thank all of you for being here today, one of the most gratifying and important days in our university's history. Today we dedicate and name our new science and multimedia building in naming Zeiss Hall. We honor two people who have chosen this university as their way to invest in the future. Steve Zeiss is fond of saying that the key to the future is an investment in education. When I watch Stephen Frozine talking with the students who received the scholarships that they have funded, I can see the utter joy in their utter joy in the investments they're making in individuals. Today, as we name this building, we recognize that joy, that warmth, that excitement and potential that Frozine and Steve extend to individual students, now that will extend to students decades into the future, students whom Steve and Frozine will never meet, will inhabit the building named in their honor. Science and multimedia are rigorous disciplines. Our students are academically accomplished and relish the kind of challenge that our new building encourages and that our faculty inspire. The citizens of North Carolina understand the value of education. This project was part of a statewide bond project that was approved by the voters of the state. Now we have a place to do science and multimedia in a really great way. Early tours of this building said that this is the standard nationally for a science and multimedia building for undergraduate education. Here in Asheville, at UNC Asheville, the students studying biology and chemistry and other sciences today will become doctors and researchers and teachers. We do know that they will flourish and they'll contribute to every sector of the economy. With this new facility, we now have a place for state-of-the-art multimedia projects. The students in those classes will benefit businesses through their many cutting-edge talents and skills and may well provide entertainment that we enjoy in the future. The key to development of this talent of the future is the investment of dedicated, hardworking, resourceful, highly skilled faculty and staff that do so much to make UNC Asheville a top-ranked university for quality, value, innovation, and multidisciplinary, in, multidisciplinary inquiry. And all that will happen right here in Zeiss Hall. Today, we are especially honoring Steve and Frozine Zeiss for their investment in education. I would also like to honor other investors in education, some individual donors who have helped make this facility possible. When I say your name, if you will stand, and if you are already standing, wiggle. Jack Baber, whose gift honors his son's memory by the naming of a chemistry classroom. Thank you, Jack. Michael McHugh. Michael, thank you. Michael's gift honors his parents by the naming of a chemistry seminar room. Skip Perlman. Skip Perlman's gift is in honor of his family and is celebrated with the naming of a multimedia arts and sciences classroom. And then Frozine and Steve, whose additional gift is noted in the naming of a chemistry classroom. Make sure you see those spaces when you tour the building after this brief ceremony. 
Honoring our donors with the naming of classrooms and offices helps today's students and students for generations to come to realize that the university facilities and programs are made possible by the splendid collaboration of private support from donors and generous public funds are made available by our General Assembly. It is a special pleasure for me to present Senator Martin L. Nesbitt to make a few remarks. Martin Nesbitt, whose session after session of the General Assembly has championed public education, public health, and the opportunity for every North Carolinian to achieve their dream, please welcome to the podium Senator Nesbitt. Thank you, Chancellor. I, uh, I think that's the first person who has said anything to me about this time about taking care of people. <laughs> We've heard a lot this year about uh, what we weren't able to do. I uh, rejoice when I walk into this building and see what uh, we as a state can assist in. Uh, I'm going to give you a little sense of history here, and most people don't know this about state government, but when we were asked this time to to cut 25% of our budget, it really uh, came home in stark numbers. 60, better than 60% of the state budget is dedicated to education. The, all the rest of the state government, all the social programs, the prisons, the courts, everything operate off of 40%. And we have such a rich tradition in this state. We had the first public university in the nation at Chapel Hill. And our forefathers put into our Constitution that we would offer our universities to our people as free as is practicable. Now, we have people trying to violate that principle on a regular basis, but uh, most of us have been able to keep them in check. The wisdom of those people uh, is astounding. The brain power of our people is what makes this state operate. It's what makes the country operate. You saw some of it last night. It's brain power. You can't uh, just produce dollars. You can't just produce uh, uh, the things that we need out here to make every day go without producing the brain power to bring it along. The university system, in my opinion, is probably the crown jewel of the educational system. Some of us really fight for K-12, and we think that is the foundation of democracy. It's the one place in this country that's a, that, that's a leveling ground. Every child must go to school and get an education in this country. But as it turns out, when you get ready to fund things, it's a, it's a little easier to help the university because it isn't as large, strangely enough. And uh, over time, we have really poured it on for the university system. I've been in public office uh, since this school had maybe 500 students, had one dormitory, and no one would live in it. <laughs> uh, we had to get full funding for a, for a dormitory here to get the campus life started here. So I've been able to see this university grow into the great university that it is. And you all know this, you don't, but it doesn't hurt to say it over and over. This university year after year shows up as one of the best deals in America. It shows up as one of the finest liberal arts universities in the nation. It, in my opinion, gives children the best education of any university in our system. Now we educated a lot of smart people out of Chapel Hill too, which is where I went by the way. <laughs> and they'll try to jimmy the figures on you. But I can tell you here, professors teach students, they work with students, and they get an education here they will not get at any other university in our system. I'm extremely proud of, of the building 
And I want to particularly thank all of you who have participated in this building and, and helped. If we did not have the public-private partnership that we have with our university systems, they would be very ordinary. That's all the money the state has. You all add the, the crowning touch, and uh, we appreciate you for that. Once again, rejoice uh, the people of the state of North Carolina, and these good people did this for you. And uh, this university will only get better as time goes on. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Nesbitt, for your commitment. Thank you for your commitment to this university and to the education that we provide. Um, my name's Jane Fernandez, and I'm the Provost and Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs. And I also want to add my um, sincere appreciation and admiration for the accomplishments, generosity, and service to this university and the community of Mr. and Mrs. Ice. Uh, the building is honored to bear their name. Uh, during my first week here, I mean my first, yeah, my first week here, um, working here about one year ago, the building had just opened and there was actually had a board of trustees meeting here in this building and I walked in I couldn't really find the building because everything was so new and there weren't many signs you know when I walked through and that was my first uh, tour of the building and at that point it was all about hope um, but what a difference that today is not about hope today is about um, real opportunity and um, real solid work that have been done to produce a great building. Um, this building um, has acquired a great life force and an identity for UNC Asheville because of all the people who have applied their collective vision, dedication, and good work. And so it is the department chairs and the faculty and the deans who have contributed so much to Zeiss Hall, breathing it full of a vibrant and exciting new life. Before their efforts, this building stood shiny and all new, yet not full of the people, um, as Senator Nesbitt mentioned, not full of the people who make it the great place that it is to learn and grow. So I want to express uh, the university's gratitude to our deans, uh, Dr. Keith Crumpy, Dean of Natural Sciences, Dr. Gwen Ashburn, the Dean of Humanities, uh, Dr. Lisa Friedenberg, Dean of Social Sciences, and Dr. Ed Katz, the Dean of University Programs, for their strong support in every way in making this building possible. And we're also very grateful to the um, wizards and alchemists, um, I'm sorry, I really mean the scientists, <laughs> who did their match. Uh, three department chairs and faculty who have worked on every aspect of this building, making sure that every need was met. First moving into the offices and the classrooms, and now um, the fantastic labs that are fully operational. And now Zeiss Hall as a whole is bustling with uh, ideas, equipment, and activities of science, chemistry, biology, and multimedia arts and sciences. I am grateful to um, the biology department in uh, the person of their department chair, if she's here, Dr. Betsy Wilson. And so she's somewhere back there, so thank you, Betsy. <laughs> And I'm grateful to the chemistry department in the person of their chair, Dr. Herman Holt, if he is here. Okay. And I'm grateful to uh, Lorraine Walsh and the Multimedia Arts and Sciences Department, if they are here. Here, thank you. Thank you. I also need to express deep appreciation to three fine gentlemen who were involved in um, every detail of this building as it serves scientists. And those people are Dr. Bert Holmes, Dr. Greg Kormanick, and Mr. Herb Pomfrey. So if they are here, I want to express my appreciation to you. 
Um, finally, I want to recognize all of the faculty and staff and students who are going to give great life to this building and going to do great things in education. I, I invite all of you to take this opportunity after the program to go on a tour of the building and see just how this building will contribute to teaching, uh, learning, service, and research. So I thank everyone here for making this so. And congratulate all of us. is a building to be lived in and learned in and proud of. And I'm very proud of all the people who made it happen. And now I want to present our student, Sean Gaffney, who is a senior at UNC Asheville, and he is now the Zeiss, Zeiss Scholar. And Sean will introduce the Zeiss. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, I'd like to start out by saying that um, I actually do have one of those stories that is that I would not have been at UNCA if it were not for the Zeises. Um, I had received um, an, an, an acceptance to Chapel Hill, as uh, Senator Nesbitt was saying, that you know it's the best school in the system. You know you want to go there, go away from home, and so I turned in my application there, turned in my housing, was ready to go, and then the UNCA gave me a call. Um, See, I'd say about two months before I started school, and they said, why didn't you accept your scholarship? And I was like, the scholarship wasn't that much. And they said, it's the Zeiss scholarship. And I was like, well, what does that mean? <laughs> and they said, it's a full scholarship. And I was like, well, this is, this, this is a wonderful school. I think I'll go here. And so it completely changed my future and brought me, it brought me much closer to home. I didn't go off to the side of the state. And when I got here, I realized that I loved the campus. I loved the the beauty of it, I loved the, the students, everything about it. And then after about a month into school, I got an email saying that I had to write some thank you letters, that I had to go to a luncheon. And I'm not really a fan of those kind of deals because the food's usually not great. <laughs> but I decided I had to get, express my gratitude anyways. And so I wrote them a, a letter, and as I, as I arrived at the luncheon, in it, and then, uh, then I met the Zeises and they sat at my table, and I realized that these were real people and that they're wonderful people. And they had read my letter and they asked me questions from it, asking me what was, what was going on in my life beyond just that. And they, were, they really wanted to invest in who I was as a person, not just as a student, not just as, a, as someone who will affect the future. They wanted to know about me. And so then the next time that I came back to the luncheon, and they asked me all kinds of other questions and I got to tell them what I did with my summers. And I told them that I went to China and that I got to, I got to teach English and that it's part of my goal um, to become a teacher. I want to be a math teacher, not an English teacher. And then, uh, and then I met Ms. Zeiss one day um, in the post office on Merriman, and she was just so excited to see me, and I was so excited to see her, because she just really cared all the time, you know, outside of school functions, and then just out in public, you know, she just really cared about me. And I feel like that's something that is that's not properly conveyed um, about the Zeiss, is that they're not just people that have a name on the school, but that they genuinely honestly care about the students. And so it was wonderful the, for the third scholarship luncheon that I got, to, I got to sit with them again, talk with them again, and then they invited me to go and, to go and eat at their house, um, which I haven't followed up on yet, and I feel really bad about that. But uh, <laughs> if, they, if they still offer it, I, I will go. I, pr I promise. No, I'm not, I'm, not a, I'm not an enemy of food. I will, gladly, I will take food. I'm in college. But uh, so that's... That's, uh, that, I guess that in, ends my informal, um, informal discussion of, of who they are and what they meant to me. But I'd like to formally introduce them as, um, I'd like to formally introduce uh, Mr. Zeiss as a, a native of Istanbul, of Greek heritage. He immigrated here to the U.S. in 1957, um, not speaking any English, which is pretty adventurous. And uh, he began schooling here at the the university that was before UNCA, and then he continued his education at NC State, and he, he evidently had a fantastic career um, being able to give um, so much to our university, um, along with his wonderful wife and Asheville native, Mrs. Ice. And uh, they have a saying, and I don't really want to mess this up, because M Chancellor Ponder quoted it earlier. 
It said that there are many times, I don't know, that education is the most valuable gift that you can offer another human being because it gives you the tools to achieve your life's dream. And I feel that is exactly what they have done me, allowing me to help teach English in China and to teach math in the United States. And so as a Zai Scholar for four years, the gift that you've entrusted with me has been truly amazing, and I appreciate it so much. I really do. Thank you. <laughs> it's now, let us welcome up here, um, the Zeises. Thank you very much. I uh, think I don't. There is nothing else that I can add to this <laughs> or through this to what already been said so far, and so I have to um, pull myself together and read off because otherwise I won't make it. Okay. Well, Frosini and I uh, appreciate the opportunity of sharing in this momentous event at UNC Asheville. We are truly humbled and honored to be recognized this afternoon by the uh, passionate educators, esteemed scientists, and cultural leaders of this great university on the occasion of the 2009 Founders Day celebration and the dedication of Zeiss Hall. Uh, <clears throat> Each time we visit the campus here at UNC Asheville and other campuses in the university system, which is something that we frequently do. We see young lives, We see young lives empowering and enriching their intellectual potential in the pursuit of their life's dream. Here I go. We reflect upon our days as students and we remember sentimentally and fondly those who helped us achieve our life's dream. Our investment in UNC Asheville <clears throat> represents the most meaningful investment we have made in our entire lives. It grows in humanitous terms exponentially and daily as it helps educate and nurture students who for generations to come will positively influence and make a difference in the betterment and well-being of their community, of their community, their state, our country, and the world. Thousands of students will study at UNC Asheville in the years ahead, feeling that our modest contribution will help in some measure some of these students achieve their life's dream gives us gratification which cannot be described in words. May God bless you in see Asheville, and may God bless the United States of America. Wow, I'll tell you, Sean, you did a great job, and the Zeises, uh, thank you for your generosity. It's a, what a moving moment. Uh, just incredible. Um, I'd like to uh, uh, call Stephen Frosin and Chancellor Ponder to the podium with me for a minute. Um, and while they're coming, I again would like to thank you for your your generosity, your spirit, your deep commitment to our community. Thank you so much. Thank you. And to the university. We recognize Stephen Frosin Zeiss on two different walls in this lobby. Behind me, of course, is a wonderful photograph of the Zeiss 
to remind us daily of the impact of their generosity and pleasure to giving back to this great university. Okay. On, on the wall opposite the entry doors, where Ann is going, is a plaque officially naming this building. I realize most of you can't see the, the plaque around the corner, <laughs> but Chancellor Ponder is going to remove it. It says, Zeiss Hall, dedicated in honor of Frosine and Steve Zeiss, business leader, humanitarians, philanthropists. Then there is a quote from Frosine and Steve. It reads, we have always felt that education is the most valuable gift you can give another human being. This giving opportunity to UNC Asheville enable us, enables us to fulfill our philosophy of life. Dedicated September 10th, 2009. Thank you again so much, Stephen. President. You've just watched the Zeisses do everything together. Thank you, Frozine and Steve, on behalf of our entire university, now and into the future. To your friends, colleagues, and associates who join us here today, to those of the university community who celebrate this milestone, to each of our special guests, we extend our deep appreciation for what you do to make UNC Asheville the standard of public liberal arts education in America. Now I invite all of you to do two things. One is to embrace Jack and Mike and Skip and Steve and Frozine and go see the building, tour it. Students and faculty are there to show it to you and to share with you the joy in the work they do. There are refreshments. The party is on all three levels of the building. And so we want to thank you for joining us as we celebrate this fulfillment of a dream of the citizens of North Carolina and the dream of people in this room. Thank you for being with us as we honor and appreciate the splendid philanthropy of our dear friends, Steve and Frozine Zeiss. <laughs>